Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and I have my lovely son here crafting with me today. Hello. We're going to have a little demonstration and I'm going to show Jamie how to create a card. Um, and you're actually not that creative, are you? Um, I'm not amazing, but yeah. I'm ready to get crafting. Okay, and we seriously haven't practiced this, have we? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know what? We're just going to go with the flow. So, we've got gel presses, we've got our bob long here, and we're going to brayer some of our elements ink onto the background. And I'm going to show you how to put the brush o onto the gel press and then take an impression. Okay. So, sounds great. Are you ready to go? I am absolutely ready. Okay. And it's actually Christmas Eve. Isn't and it, it's it? Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Yay, Merry Christmas Eve. Excited. Are we excited? Um, okay, so we've got our brayer. You've got your brayer. Got my brayer. Yeah, okay. Let's go. You've got a blue there. You've I've got, got a Della blue. blue. I've got a Della what have Blue. You got? You've got a Della Blue. Yeah, we've got the same on this Me and one you, anyway. Della Blue. Okay. <laughs> right. Ink up. Ink up. Yeah. Just a bit or all of it? Just make sure that the ink is all the way around on your brayer. Okay. Yeah. But you don't you only need to ink up one half of it. Just one half. Because you think you don't need to ink up the whole thing really. You just no. bring it across. That's very true. Okay. Be a waste of ink. It would. Okay. Okay. So let's just pop the lid on that now. Yep. So we, we know won't... which one's Della Blue. Yeah, because we won't be using that again. Me and you. Okay. Let's just spray that colour over the top. All yeah? over it. All over it. Blend it all over. Yeah? Okay. You got it's not it? not looking very blue. <laughs> no, it's not actually. Maybe put a little bit more. Maybe use mine. Perhaps okay. yours is a little bit old. Oh, yes. The brain is turning blue now. Okay. I see the colour. There we go. And what a beautiful colour it is. It is. Della blue. Della blue. Oh, look at that. Now we can see the blue. Yeah. That's good. There we go. Wow. Look at that. That's great. Okay. Right, let's put the lid on that. Yes. And now the fun bit. Okay. We have the brush -os here. Okay. Now. There's only a very small amount of brush -o that goes into this. It's almost like, you know, like when you're doing cooking and you put a, like a pinch of salt in. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, quite a big pinch, but you just put a pinch of colour in. Obviously, you don't want to use your fingers, but just sprinkle just it in yeah. and um, add the water and fill it right up um, as, as high as what we've done here. Give it a mix. And you'll be surprised at actually how vibrant the colour okay. is. So it doesn't take much. It'll no, last it, forever. It does. It, uh, that's the thing. It does last forever. So I've got some water here. Just pop, pop your fan brush in there. Do you want to do the same colours as me? Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Better add. Okay. So um, I'll I'm end thinking... up looking crazy. <laughs> so I'm thinking this is actually lime green. It's a very, very watered down lime green. And I'm going to tap a bit off first. Okay. Green. Give it a good mix, that's it. Yeah, get it saturated all over your brush. Give, it's almost like a sweep of colour. Scoop. Yeah? Yep. Okay, and tap a little bit off. Hold your brush like, that's it. <laughs> okay. And it, do you see what I mean? There's big splashes yeah. there, isn't yeah. there? You don't and we want, want those. we want tiny ones. So from the end of your brush, hold it quite near the end. Just here. Yeah, and then just tap. Okay, very very lightly, and quite quick. See, this is really good for me because I'm seeing where you could go wrong, whereas yeah. I wouldn't think that. Um, myself when I'm doing something, no, but it's not until you actually you're good watch. At crafting. No, I wouldn't say that. But <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But there we go. But okay, keep going, keep going, keep keep sprinkling. Okay, so let's change the color. Okay. Yeah. A new color. New color. Make sure you clean. Yeah. And then, um, what color have we got here? I think that's a yellow. Let's have a look. 
Well, no, it's an orange actually, but that's and fine. Still I mean, that's the one good thing about brushes. You can almost put any colour onto the background. Um, it's good to experiment. You'd be surprised, you know, mm -hmm. so many times I've put the wrong colour on, taken off and thought, wow, actually, that, actually that works. works. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a colour that you would never have thought no, of otherwise. exactly. Right, so... In the orange. In the orange. Which is a colour I wasn't going to use, but hey, right, let's just go. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go for it. And a scoop. Yep, scoop and a tap off. A little tap. <laughs> And then, and then we're going to just, again... All over the shop. Yeah. Be, because you've tapped a lot off, be It'll quite be, force, be, be forceful now. Put a little bit of, you know, whoo, behind it. Yeah? I can't. You can't do it. Quick, what's, where's your finger muscle? Come on. <laughs> well, I'm coordination. <laughs> right, turquoise. Turquoise. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so nice sweep in, tap off. Colour. Oh, water, I mean. It's so funny watching you do this. <laughs> like a pro. <laughs> Whoa, well, look at that. That's yeah, cool, it's, isn't, it? Nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's an idea, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, come on, let's concentrate, otherwise people will be bored. Whoa, that's a good one. You're in. Whoa. Keep going, keep, oh. keep tapping, we want lots of speckles like yeah. this. I'm getting them everywhere. Like Harry Potter. <laughs> mm. I normally say three or four colours, I have no idea how many well, you've Well, so you're far. following what I go for and just go for all of them. Well, you've got to be careful though with that because if you use too many colours, they run into each other and go a brown murky yeah, colour. Yeah, my cards have ended up looking like that. Okay, all right. Well, that's why. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so purple. Purple now. You can't really aim where they're going to go, can you? Too much. Not, not really. But I would go closer. But then it's bigger splodges, or do you want them? No, you've taken the big ones off, really. Mm. There's one there. That's fine. We'll see what it comes out okay. like. I'm going to go back with a tiny bit of green mm. as well, because I've got a few gaps I want to fill. Because you can kind of see, when you look to the side, you can see where all your splatters are. And you want to make sure that that is all covered. Mm. Yeah? yeah, most of mine are on the paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So are you are you happy with that now? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's just try it. Let's try it's it. It's the only way, isn't it? So. Let's go. Okay. Use that side because I think you've been <laughs> spattering on that side as well. Okay. So we've got multifarious card here. I've not cut it to any particular size, but our bob long is a DL size, so we can just trim that down afterwards gauge it, look at the bottom, try and keep it as straight to the edge as you can, you know, line it up there oh, and yeah. then and then move it down a little. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then just place it down. Don't worry too much if it's not right. And then we're just gonna smooth that over. Does it matter how hard or <laughs> Well, quite quite firm because the more you press, the more it kind of moves about underneath. Oh, yeah? yeah. So a nice sort of firm press over the top. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Now I'm going to take mine off. Okay. Should I take mine first? Yeah, because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? God. Isn't it great? Colours on that. I Beautiful. Never, I never tire of this technique because it's different every time it's different and it is so easy yeah. i mean don't you think really oh, well well, yeah, well let's see. It yet. <laughs> so far okay okay, <laughs> okay. let's let's have a look oh, the big reveal the big reveal here we go hey look oh at that it Whoa. has are you not pleased with that <laughs> isn't that great I'm happy with that 
That's great. It's a little bit wonky, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Great. Pop, pop your gel press to the side. I'm gonna, gonna have frame this. this. Quick, so you could swig it. Mm. Mm. Put your gel plate plate flat because if you put it on anything, it marks so easy. So just put it flat on the table over there. Okay. Okay. That is something that I, I don't sort of talk about really is things like that that can go wrong. So the gel press, even if you put a piece of paper on top and left it with a corner on it, the next day it would actually mark on it. Um, and that's happened to me a couple of times. I've, luckily I've been able to turn the gel press over and use the other side, but the, the dent in it actually stays. Mm. So you, you really have got to look after it. And, that, and that's why keep it in this. Keep that. Yeah. I'm going to just give this a quick blast. And you can give that a quick blast with yours. Just trying to make it completely dry so we can stamp over the top. That way it works really well. Yeah. If when it's, it's fully dry. When it's fully dry. If it's a little bit damp sometimes because you're putting an oil based ink <clears throat> over the top. Yeah. Um, it doesn't quite bond, so just make sure it, it, it is dry. Okay. Right, cool. I've got Twilight here, which is a lovely, lovely colour, one of my nice. go-tos. Um, it's like a really nice navy blue, and it's the kind of colour that I like using sometimes instead of black. I think black can be a little bit harsh. so. I'm just going to pop that down round about the middle, yeah, round about here. Okay. I'm not putting the whole thing across, as you can see. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. Look at the detail. I don't know if detail's good on these. Now this time I'm going to stamp off and then stamp underneath, yeah? Mm. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Stamp up, stamp off, and then there we go. So, your turn. My turn. <laughs> That's cool. Right. Okay. So, yeah. you can do it either okay. way. Um, some people do find it easier actually tap in the ink pad mm -hmm. on the top. That probably would be easier. Yeah, because it stops you um, squishing your stamp into the ink pad and then the ink kind of oozes out. So you've got a little bit more control doing it that way. Okay. Mm. I think so. And it doesn't press past anything other than the surface that you want, you want to cover. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, I think that's inked up. So yeah. the first one is the bold one that we want on the forefront of the image. Yeah. And this one's to go about <coughs> halfway. Yeah. About there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Okay. And we're on. We're on. Cool. Good press, yeah? I think so. Okay. Let's take that off then. Yay. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Do you know what I'm worried about? What? Yours actually might be better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so this time, stamp off. Hard? Or? No, gently. Gently. Just gently. That's it. And then we're going to go underneath. Underneath. Just here? Yeah. We can always add to it afterwards if we don't feel like it's, you know, enough. So don't worry too much. Give that a little bit more of a press because it's the second uh, impression. Not not like break your wrist hard. I mean, that's quite hard, that is. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. okay. You see how it's kind of sort of splayed out a bit yeah. there? And that's because you put a press lot of hard. pressure on it. Okay. Yeah. So Too let's, strong. Let's <laughs> yes, most definitely. Um, okay, so just try that again. 
as I say, either way is fine. It's just if you're a beginner, especially, it's good to get the feel of the ink pad and how much you're putting. Yeah, in. I think it's definitely easier. easier doing it like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. So. Stamp off. I didn't tap the top last time, so I think that's why it was more heavy there as well. Okay. So I reckon this one, this one's going to be the one. Okay. That's it. Press. That's it. And off it comes. Off it comes. There we go. It's a little bit more backgroundy. That's good. That's good. Right. I'm actually going to trim these down now so I know where I'm up to with everything. I'm going to leave a bit of a border on, I think. You can always change that. <laughs> okay, shall I trim yours down? Yes, please. <laughs> so I might chop off been, my fingers. I've been controlling now. That's the angle, yeah. Perfectly um, lined up. I've done this before. There you go. Was it that way? It was that way. It was that it? way. Yeah. Next thing. What do you think the next thing is now? Oh, yeah. Um, another stamp? Well, it will be. Yes. Okay. Una. <laughs> Una, Una. Now, this is where you have to think. It was a good job that we put the branches that side. Yes, if we put because them on that side, she would have been facing be jumping the out wrong the picture. Way. Yeah, yeah. So always, it's always worth checking your composition. Really, which way the fair is facing, which way the, the the trees or the branches are facing. Try to work that out before you start your card. We've got nocturne here, so I'm going to go in with the black. It's a good shot. And I'm going to just, just bold yeah. front of the picture. That's right, it's just stand the out. main focus, the uh, focal point. You've been watching my videos. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm an avid Lavinia fan. <laughs> um, okay, so I, that's her completely covered now. And you can see, if you just shine her in the light, you can see where it's wet, can't you? Yes. Yeah? So it's always a good little test to see she's completely covered. And then we're going to line her up on one of these branches. Okay, and because it's clear, we can see exactly where we're stamping. It's just brilliant, isn't it? It is. So, now this one is a silhouette. Let it rest a while. Let that ink soak into the card. It's always worth doing. Because if you try to go back and do it again, it's never in the same place. Mm. Right, that should do it. There Whoa, she is. look at that. Okay, so your turn. So, right, Ink up. here we go. Inking up the Una. Okay, let's check her. I think That's good. she's good to go. Okay. 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 Yeah. Lid on. Right. Let's find a branch. I can't. Really. Um. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Pressure on. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. And she's on the branch. She is, Ooh. isn't she? Well done. Okay. So both even the other hands on the back. That's, that's good. It's actually right. best of all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got um, a little leaf here. Now it you can make it a bit more Christmassy, and you could put a little holly leaf or some berries or something. We still might put some berries on, but for now, we're going to use warm breeze. Warm breeze. And then I'm going to bring in. This lovely colour. It's a very nice colour. Again. And I'm going to pop the leaves on the edge here. Okay. Mm. These are the, these are the dark. This is where I want it to be dark. 
on mm -hmm. the edge. Okay. I'm going to ink up take off because I want it to be lighter around. Yeah, it just it, it just balances better um, to do it that way. If I put a dark leaf on the end there, I I don't know. I just don't find it balances as well. Okay, that's just that's just me. No, it makes sense. Um, because... You've got depth, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Nearer the tree trunk, kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So. And it gets less, uh, more fine and lighter. Less, uh, yeah, yeah. The, as it goes out. To the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> as any tree would. Okay. <laughs> okay, my turn. Your turn. Okay. Oh, I can do it that way this time. It's easy. This one's yeah, going to be dip. harder. Oh no. It's a small stamp, so there's a little bit more control over it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Right, so bold ones on the on here? On the edge. Does it matter if... Oh. Yeah, just ask any questions as you go along. Oh, it's not really lined. It's quite a... You mean it's not gone up to the edge? Does it matter? Well, yeah, do I need them to come off like that? Yeah, I mean, if you can go up to the edge oh, yeah, I see. as much as you can, then that would be great. But we are going to um, put a little bit of depth of colour down the side as well using the stencil brush. So any mistakes down the edge, don't worry too much about. We're going to... Now, you've gone over the top a few times here, yeah, and it, it can does start. Look a bit of a mess. It can start looking a bit because it's all on top of each other. Yeah, it doesn't so try keep and, the same. Yeah, okay. try to keep them a little bit more separated. It's fine. <laughs> Stump off. You've got a gap here, so let's just fill that in, and let's just do that again. Stump off. This is the bit that I struggle with. Is it? The stamping off and on. And getting the right amount of ink sometimes. It just doesn't work It's, tri it's like trial and error, really. Yeah. Um, I would get it with practice. Yeah. Just it, And you can build. You've got a little bit more control over it when you're using the second impression because you can build your colour. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. I think I pressed too heavy on the ones up here as well. Okay. You've still got... Yeah. Look at me. I'm one. This is where I take over, isn't it? I'm terrible for that. But stamp off and I would just put a couple in... The, did you see in these gaps here? Yeah. Just to make them look a little okay. bit fuller. That's yeah. all. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Good to go. Good to go. Okay. Look at that. It's like a tree. <laughs> well, it's gonna it's gonna get better, I promise you. Right, we've got um, a moon. Have you got a moon? I'm sure I gave you yeah, a moon. Hopefully. Got a moon. Okay, and we're going to pop that over the top of her. Yeah. You got a stencil brush there. I have. And um, what colour should we do? Hmm. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's try this. Let's try the violet chalk. So I'm just going to show you first. So I'm going to take a little bit of ink. Yeah. And just take a bit off because I mean, look how juicy they are. They're great, aren't wow. they? Really, really juicy they inks. Are. And I want to start ink. with less on my brush because we can build up gradually. Um, you can always add more, but you can't take away. Exactly, exactly. And then I'm going to go flick outwards. Now keep quite a firm pressure on this, because if you move this, then the edge is going to be quite blurred, mm. won't be as sharp. No. Okay. 
I'm just going to go around the edge and flick outward. Okay. Yeah. Should I start going? Um, hang on one minute. Okay. Because I'll I'll help and watch you. Okay. Now, when you've done that, and you've started to get that depth, <clears throat> I'm quite happy to swirl it then. Okay. It's just, I wouldn't, I know it's very technical, isn't it? I wouldn't swirl it to start with because if you get any lines, okay, then if you flick the lines out, it doesn't matter if you've got lines because it kind of looks like. Yeah, like rays the sun, like, yeah. Or moon rays yeah. or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you've done done that and you've got the depth that you want, you can go back to swirling then. Okay, go back to swirling then. <laughs> go back to swirling. Yeah. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, I think so. I'm not, I'm so not very good at explaining myself. Oh, look at that. But I doesn't was, that, like, really yeah, pop now? Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's almost, Spotlight, it's, isn't yeah. it? It's so crisp it, it kind around of like, Una. looks like it's been put on the card, doesn't it, almost? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's like, oh. Right, you're going. It's crazy. Mm. Okay. Right, so, a few of these. Yeah. A few of these. Yeah. About that. Yeah. Right. Firm grip. <sighs> move. As you go, move quite quickly round. You don't want too much depth in one position. Now you have to swap your hand. Yeah, that's it. Do I need to re ink? No, I don't think you do. You've got plenty of purple on there, actually. Oh, I'm excited for this. This is one of my favourite parts the, the masking. Is it? I like it. You've done that really oh, yeah, well, you've done it quite evenly. You've got no I? lines there, so you don't mm. even need to think about swirling. No. Okay. No, I would Can just I? I would just go with that. Okay. So just I just lift off. Oh, I think I have expected. <laughs> that was Harry Potter. What do you think of that? That's good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's, that's great. That great. I did that. Oh, you did it. I did that. You did it. That's cool. That's not, that's, okay, that's awesome. Okay, not finished yet though. That's amazing. Now I'm going to move on to a little bit of grey, okay? And all I'm going to do is, I'm a swirling motion now. And now I'm just giving that depth down here. Okay. Where the tree trunk would be, yeah? Okay. And anything around the edge of the card, any kind of colour, depth of colour, kind of pulls your eye in and sometimes you know you make you start making a card and you give it before you even get started oh, um yeah and it's really important to keep working with it it doesn't have to be perfect you know it's a handmade card and it's been made with love so you know nothing's perfect is it no but this card will come pretty close <laughs> <laughs> you go, you swirl that way. I swirl that way. You swirl that way. I can't do that way. Isn't that funny? Isn't that weird? It's like when people bray sometimes, they bray that way. And I bray that way. Oh, I do both. Oh, no, you're not meant to do both, are you? Because then you don't get the full. I... I don't know whether there's any right or wrong, really. It's just if you get the result, you get the result. Yeah. I think I go like that. I think I go for Do you? Yeah. you think, see, I find that difficult. I find it much easier to do it that way. Strange. Since we are strange. Well, we are. We're creatures of habit, aren't we, at the end of the day? Yes. Mm, add a few sparkles. Oh, yeah, well, we need definitely need sparkles. And I'm actually thinking we might put a tiny bit of yellow. Mmm. On there and I love well. me some yellow. Mm. Which yellow are we going for? Um, Sahara. Oh. Mm. Um, have we got a yellow stencil brush? We or do. Something close. I think that's. Yeah, I'm fine. 
again, look how juicy that is. We only want a hint of yellow, so take a lot of it off. In fact, you probably won't need to ink up. And I'm going to just swirl that mm. over the top. Mm. Now, don't ink up, you don't need nice. to. There's enough on there. Okay, quite gently on this then. Yeah. You kind of get a feel of it though, don't you? You yeah. know, of the pressure as you go along. Yeah. You can see the yellow going on. I was just looking better than mine. <laughs> Thank you. It's the last time you're crafting. It's a big compliment. <laughs> okay, let's put, put that back in the pot actually. Oh no, mine's gone much darker than yours. No, but it's fine, it's atmospheric. There's no wrong or right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what to do now. I've got all these stamps out and I'm not too sure. Hmm. Well, since it's Christmas, mm. should we add a little... Hmm. I'm thinking some words. Yeah. Christmas words along okay. the edge. And now, I, you you stay there because I'm not, I'm not prepared at all. I need to find some Christmas words. Let us know down in the comments if you want a... Jamie Crafts, five minute crafts. <laughs> oh yes, we're yeah. talking about doing that next year, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, five minute crafts on five, its way soon. Five minute crafts. Let us know what you want to see. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, to actually ask our customers what they get stuck with and what they'd like to see. Yeah, what, what yeah. they want to help with, anything. Okay, so we've got our uh, winter verse here. Winter. So I'm going to ink up in twilight and we have to be very careful now with words because we don't want them to be too overpowering. No. We want them very much to be in the background so I'm going to take off and just press quite hard and again ink up Take off. I'm only doing the edge of the verse as you can see. I just want it to be very much in the background. Yeah. Keeping again the main focus. Yeah, with Una. On the Uno Una. Yeah. And again. Okay. I'm gonna do this for mine. Take off. No, that won't work. Why? Because. Oh, it's got a bit of an it's edge. It's got a height. Yeah. So if you were to stamp over, we'll you'd see. only get like a very edge. Right. So, okay. yeah. So you just have to, if you don't want the words over the top of that, you just have to bring them back a little bit. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So. And I'm going to think about what we're going to do next. <laughs> That's just terrible, isn't it? We're so un unprepared. <laughs> Oh, we could have a bit of snow with Posca. Yeah. I quite enjoy Give doing that. Little... Okay. Right, so a quick one. That's it. Okay. okay. There we ah, go, that's better, whoa. isn't it? So, Much better. Yeah. Okay. A few more of those. Up. Are you ready with your Posca? I'm ready. Well, um, is that the or next Or is that what you're doing? Or is that going to be last? I don't glitter last. Glitter last, yeah. And we've got our quickie glue pen and we've got our holographic glitter, so. This can be your Christmas card for this year. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this one's yours. <laughs> One more up here. Yeah, reckon so. I'm quite slow. Yeah, a bit thorough, you know, and that's the thing, you know, you're just going through it step by step. I mean, you've not, you've never done this with me before. No. So, and you've only ever done a couple of crafting, crafting afternoons yeah. here. Yeah, a few crafting evenings. Um, where I've not actually personally taught you, have I? I've kind of just left you to it. Just left me to it. Yeah. <laughs> and that would explain the cards that I came out with. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they 
were actually good, but you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, didn't no, you? I did. They were good fun. Do one more just here. Yeah. Well, should I add maybe another stamp there? No, no, I would carry on with the words. Okay. I would personally. But you can do what you want, but. Yeah. What do you reckon Una's watching here? Do you reckon Pippin? Or looking out for Santa? I think she's watching humans. Watching humans? Yeah. Oh, love yeah. people watching. Yeah. Yeah, people watching. It's great fun. It is good. Well, she's definitely doing that. Yes. She's very wary. Mm. Mm. Okay. Just there. Snow, stardust, snowflake and icicles. There we go. Right then. This is the fun bit here. Here we go. This is where it could go wrong. Oh, I do that. Yeah. It's great. It's definitely better than mine. <laughs> right, I'm giving that a good shake, mixing it up, and then we're going to use the the um, handle just to whack on the pen. And I'm going to try to do it in a controlled way. And you kind of get the feel of how hard you can whack it. Mm. So I'm just doing it sort of diagonal. Okay. I don't want too much to go over the top of Una, so I'm just slowing down a little bit. Yeah? That. Well, Genius. Actually, yes. Well done. See that? Jamie <laughs> that, Crafts. <laughs> that would be that would be the sensible option, wouldn't it? Whoa. Yeah. I like it as well. With you, there's so much that you can do with Poscas. I like it especially when I see cards with, you know, like an outline of white. You know, like when there's a moon. Oh yeah. And then yeah. it's like it's shining onto the fairy and you've got like a white outline yeah. or something. Oh, I that's know. nice. Amanda's good at that, Lisa Taggart, yeah. a few of the DT, um, you know, and whites is a great one to highlight like the berries yeah. when they're red. Yeah. Just put in a dot a of little white. Of shine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do a bit down there just to give it a little bit of light. Down That's there. fine. It looks good against the dark background, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look like you're making music there. <laughs> Guess the tune. <laughs> that's good. I like it. That's I think great. That's Oh no, you hate your thumb. Oh no, darling. Oh god. Stand on it. How's your thumb? Right, so. right. Now we've got, you've got a glue pen there. I have a glue pen And here. you've got your own glitter pot. So I'm going to let you loose on that now because this is the last stage. Okay. I'm going to actually just. Oh my goodness, that's, oh. a, big, that's a big. That's, that's a lot I think of glue. We've got a little bit of a leak going on there. Let's just oh. dab that up. Oh, there you go. Save the day. Saved it, yeah. Just, okay. That's fair. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, and you, when you press, yeah, it starts to come out. Yeah? So I. Think I this one might be. You can see it. when If you go onto the dark bit, you can see it better. Okay. So, just because it's called quickie glue, does that mean that we've got to be really quick putting the glue on there and then the glitter? Or does is it, um, does it say stay sticky for, for a while? It does stay sticky for a while. No, I haven't really timed it. I've just kind of gone with it and it's always stuck. So I've not, I'm not too worried about it. You see, it starts off blue, yeah? Yeah. And then, because um, it's good for foiling as well, this. And when it goes white, well, clear, mm -hmm. um, you know it's at its most tackiest. 
Yeah. Okay. And that's when it works with foiling. Um, but for glitter, you can put the glitter over it at any point you want, to be honest. And it will still stick. And it will stick. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to go for it now. I've got an idea in mind for mine. And do this. Look. Oh, look at that. And that's with the new holographic glitter. I know. It's kind of new. It's it's coarse, isn't it? And that's why you get the sparkle. It's really coarse glitter. Yeah. It reflects all the light in the room, all the colours out there. Now it's quite a relatively easy card to make this, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I've not had too many struggles so far. Okay, don't go too over the top. Okay. <laughs> it's getting really <laughs> getting, sparkly. Getting really excited okay. now. So with this, just give it a little... Just sprinkle it over where you, where you can remember that you've put the glue. I don't have a clue. <laughs> The thing is, all the ink's dry now, so it's not going to stick to anything else. It's not like embossing powder. Embossing powder tends to stick to everything because I think it's so fine. But the, right. this glitter's quite heavy, so. Oh, um, okay. So yeah, it'll only stick to the glue. Okay. Okay. So, are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> no. I thought you were going to blow it then. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't blow. Okay. Like, and flick the back. Not all over the table. <laughs> Where else? <laughs> flick it down on the oh. there. Otherwise we're all breathing in um, glitter. Whoa, look at that. Sparkly Christmas tree. And although I kind of regret putting the glitter on there. Because it's oh, kind of took know. the, took the crispness of the circle. It's slightly different, but it's fabulous, it's, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's still very, very happy with that. Let's see if we can get them under this camera over here. There we go. Oh, I might actually that. claim yours to be mine. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. And there we have it. There's our crafting session. Crafting session. I and had a great time. we hope that you enjoyed it and that yes. we haven't bored you to death. <laughs> and if you want to see more of us doing this sort of thing, then do comment below. Um, it's something that I'd like to do a little bit more of next year. Yeah, um, I'm definitely done. Yeah, I think it'd be good fun as long as we don't bore everyone to death. Yeah, <laughs> well... <laughs> it's taken yeah. like about an hour to do yeah. this, isn't it? <laughs> We've had a great time. We've had a good time. We've had a good time. Okay, so um, in the meantime, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Yes. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. And a big thank you to all our customers, all your support. Um, Thank you've you all so been much. truly, truly amazing. Amazing. Wonderful um, people. I know. Loving your family. I know. It is, isn't it? It it's is. It's a proper, proper family. It is a family here. So, yeah, have a, a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. Stay safe, everybody. And um, thanks again. Have a wonderful time. Yeah, I'm just going to keep saying thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. And thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Okay, cool.